Moving on in Module 4, we will review best practices and strategies to support you in creating an annual calendar for your school counseling program. By intentionally planning and scheduling our work, it's harder for others to pull us into unscheduled, non-counseling related activities. School counselors develop and publish an annual calendar that presents a schedule of all classroom and group activities, including those identified in your annual student outcome goals and listed on your classroom and group mindsets and behaviors action plan and your closing the gap action plan. This annual calendar can be shared on your school website, outside of your office, in school newsletters, and through any other communications you have with stakeholders. Think of your calendar as a communication tool. It will communicate to stakeholders who may not always understand or know the role of a school counselor, what exactly it is you do, and your role within the school building. While teachers' roles and schedules are known by everyone, which class periods they teach, when they have a prep period, for example, there is often a lack of understanding of what school counselors do all day. Calendars communicate that school counseling in your school is a comprehensive program with intentional and organized services. Annual calendars are working documents that you'll continue to adjust and update as things change. In this task, you'll begin filling in your annual calendar, but you will most likely want to update it and make changes throughout the school year. For planning purposes at this time, you'll start an annual calendar for the school year by adding in the classroom lessons, large group presentations, and small groups that you've already identified in your goals and in your mindsets and behavior action plan and your closing the gap action plan if you're a goal level school. You can also add any major activities or events that you already know will be on the counseling program schedule, such as back to school nights, FAFSA nights, College Go Week, and etc., as well as any recurring activities such as committees you might serve on that meet regularly. When you begin the task of working on your annual calendar, you will first see all of the lessons and groups you included in your Mindsets and Behaviors Action Plan. Then, Gold Level Schools will see the activities you listed in your Closing the Gap Action Plan. Note that each list has a scroll bar on the side if your list is longer than the box. Be sure to scroll down to see all of the activities that are listed in each box. Finally, you'll also see a box for new activities. These will be other activities besides your lessons, groups, and indirect activities from your Mindsets and Behaviors Action Plan and Closing the Gap Action Plan, which you can begin adding here to your calendar for next year. We'll start with the first box, the Lessons and Groups from your Mindsets and Behaviors Action Plan. Click on the first activity listed. A pop-up box will appear. Begin filling out the information for this particular activity and when you want it scheduled on your annual calendar. If you're not sure of a particular date, you can select a month or more than one month. These can all be changed later if your schedule changes. For the activities from your Mindsets and Behaviors Action Plan, you'll notice that the rest of the information has been automatically filled in for you. Once you've entered the information for when the activity will take place, you can close the pop-up window by clicking the X in the upper right-hand corner. You should now see your activity added to your calendar. Continue scheduling the rest of the activities from your Mindsets and Behaviors Action Plan. Next, you'll schedule each of the activities from your Closing the Gap Action Plan if you're a Gold Level School. Again, if you're not sure of a particular date, you can select a month or more than one month. These can all be changed later if your schedule changes. Again, a pop-up box will appear. Begin filling out the information for this particular activity and when you want it scheduled on your annual calendar. Once you've entered the information for when the activity will take place, you can close the pop-up window by clicking the X in the upper right corner. Continue scheduling each of the activities from your Closing the Gap Action Plan list. Next, you can begin adding new activities. These are other activities besides your lessons, groups, and indirect activities from your Mindsets and Behaviors Action Plan and Closing the Gap Action Plan that you already know will be on the Counseling Program schedule, 
such as back to school nights, college information sessions, or etc., as well as any recurring activities, such as committees or meetings that meet regularly. Again, a pop up window will appear where you can enter information about the activity you wish to add. You will enter the name or type of activity and indicate whether it's a direct student service, indirect student service, or related to managing your program. Then select the date or dates the activity takes place. If it's a recurring or something that happens most days, such as office hours, for example, you can select nearly every day. You'll also enter whether or not this is a new activity to help achieve your closing the gap goal and if it's a classroom lesson or group activity. If these new activities are classroom lessons or presentations or groups or will be part of your closing the gap goal and they aren't already on your action plans for next year, you'll select either of these options here and then will be prompted to add these new activities to your action plan. For now, your task to complete is to begin drafting an annual calendar for the school counseling program by filling in activities, meetings, and any other events. You are doing a lot of great work. Keep it up and let me know what I can do to help. You can contact me at rfraser at doe.in.gov. If your question pertains to the online platform, you can also contact Amy Portis of Inspire Success, our technical partner, at amy at inspiresuccess.org.